Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install DuckDNS on Portainer slash Docker Compose underneath. So, this makes it to where you can update your home IP address on DuckDNS, and then you can uh, you, uh, create a custom domain and then CNAME record your domain to DuckDNS.org uh, or whatever your subdomain is on there. And then that domain will carry your IP and be allocated to your uh, your custom domain and your DNS system. So um, so this series is about creating smart home from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing software to uh, to installing home automation, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So I'm going to start on a uh, Linux server. So this is the um, Docker container that I'll be using, Linux server and then .dns. Um, so supported architectures, ARM64 and H60. And then you can go to the DNS website, .dns website and retrieve your token, create a container. So let's go over to the guest that I created and I'll link it down in the description for you to use. Um, I'm going to just copy it here and then I'm going to go over to um, Portainer. I'm going to start on the, on the home so you can get a local right here and then stacks and stacks or docker compose underneath. So um, add stack and then you can type your um, stack name, we'll say .dns. I'm going to paste what I copied over there. So Docker Compose version 2.1. Ser services I'm starting up is .dns. The image that I'll be using is Linux server .dns, the latest version. And then I'm going to name the container name .dns. I'm going to uh, set some environment variables. And these are the .dns subdomains that uh, you'll be created on the DNS website. So I'm gonna just name mine PV testing two. So now you'll get your token from the DNS website and then we are not logging and um, vo volumes. You will say on the local side, it's in data, DNS app data, and then config. And then in the container, it, it will be just config, a dash config. And then we're gonna say restart and let's stop. So that means that it will restart uh, always if it fails or anything, unless you stop it intentionally. So let's go over to the .dns website and you'll, you will sign in with whatever provider you wanna sign in with. There's GitHub, there's different ones. So, um, so this will be your account name, your type, this will be the token that you get that you need to put inside the Docker Compose over there. And then token generated and then create a date. Uh, this will be to where your current IP for your home will be located. So you can also update it manually here. You can type it in and then update it manually. If you do have the service running, it will overwrite whatever you do manually within five minutes and then a random jitter. So th this will be the subdomain that you put over in the uh, su subdomains over here. This will be over here or right here. And then your, your token will be over here in the DuckDNS website. It'll be up here. So DuckDNS does not support IPv6 updated automatically, but you can put it in and then update it right here. So this is where you create the subdomain and you just type in whatever you want here and then you say add domain and then it shows up down here. Okay, let's go back to Portainer. And we got everything done. So now we're gonna go down and deploy stack right here. And then you will see that the stack is deployed successfully. And then you'll go into .dns stack then you'll see that um, it pulled the image in. It did everything it's supposed to do. Now you'll go into here containers and then 
if you got everything correct, you go into logs right here, and then it will say something went wrong. So this is because I haven't got the token in. So I'm gonna pause it right here, put the token in, and then I'll be right back. So I paused it and I put my token in and you'll go into stacks and then editor here and then you just put your token in there and you say update. I'm gonna go into containers again and you'll go to logs and you can see I put my a token in, that's all I done on the last thing and it says your, your IP was updated and then gives you the date and time. So it is working now and it's updating my IP and I have a DNS subdomain that I can see name to and always be up to date with my home IP. So that's how to get DuckDNS working on Portainer. So I just showed you how to set up DuckDNS step-by-step -step guide on how to get it working on Portainer. Uh, this is using Docker Compose underneath. And also this makes it to where if your home IP changes for any reason, you, your ISP gives you a new IP, you don't have a static IP on your home, uh, it'll easily update on the DuckDNS uh, subdomain. And then it, you will go into your DNS provider and you'll go and create a new domain. You'll see name it to the DuckDNS subdomain. This makes it to where if your IP changes, like I said, it will automatically update the domain you have and then it'll make it to where you don't lose access to your home on your Nginx proxy manager or anything like that. So if you like my tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and if you need any support for this, uh, you can go down in the description and go to Big Bear Community and I have a Discord link down there and you can join that. And also you can comment on any of the videos and I'll be happy to help as much as I can. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.